Hey guys, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. I have a computer here that I want to speed up. And it's not a real powerful computer. It's a Pentium 4. It's a 3 gigahertz machine. And it has 4 gig in it right now of, of RAM like this. And it has just an onboard video card. There's no external video card. Anyway, the goal is to get some extra performance out of this computer. And I want to show you how I like to get the performance um, tested on mine. I do. I like to do benchmarks. Now I don't do this all the time. It just depends. I want to see if this video card, which is one gig, or the onboard's better. I'm assuming that this is going to be a lot better. And then it never hurts to have enough RAM in a computer, so that's important too. Anyway, I want to go ahead and. Um, do the benchmark on this computer first because even if I put this video card in I might get better performance out of the onboard video card I mean I know this one has one gig in it but sometimes hardware just works better and it doesn't necessarily matter if it's a faster piece of hardware it, it depends on its its uh, compatibility with the actual circuit that it's running Anyway, let's go ahead and do a benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and load up some tools here, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm here at my computer, and I've used this in the past, this product. It's called Nova Bench, and it's pretty good software. It's lightweight, and it's free, and it gives you a number that I think is fair. So let's go ahead and download this and install it and I'll leave the link to this in the description and then I'll be back as soon as it's loaded up. This is the computer that we're working on. This is the physical computer. I built this computer on another show. I'll put a link up in the corner. And we've been using it ever since. This actually has four operating systems on it and multiple hard drive serves pretty well. I think that graphics card is really going to help it out. Okay, I've got my Nova Bench running. I've got the capture software running that you're watching this video with. I'm going to go ahead and start the test. This test is for the Pentium 4 3 gigahertz machine with 4 gig of system RAM and it has that onboard video card. I still have the other one I want to try out later here. So let's go ahead and start this test up. If you guys are interested in me doing a more complete show on the be benchmarking software, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a more in-depth video about benchmarking tools. Anyway, let's go ahead and let this finish on our 4 gigs of system RAM and see what we get for a score. Okay, our first score is in for our benchmark test here. I'm going to write these down. This is the 4 gigabyte with the, without using the graphics card. And it's coming at 190. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run this test again just to get the best out of 3. So we're going to do this 3 times to each different configuration. This software that's running this tool is considered synthetic software. And if you watch the guys that talk about doing benchmarks that uh, get very serious about benchmarking, they'll refer to this as, you know, the synthetic style. Now there's a real world test too, and that has to do with graphics and things that you can feel as far as more than just the numbers, things you physically see. Okay, so our second number's in of 201. Our last number was 190. So within 10, I want to go ahead and do it one more time just to see what it comes up with. We'll take the best out of three. Well, we'll take the average of three is what we'll do. Our third score is in of 208. That's the best one yet. Our lowest was 190. The second one was 201. And this one's 208. Let's benchmark this computer at 205. That'll be our baseline. Okay, that's it for the 4 gig of memory with the no video card and the 
uh, video capture software running. Here's a shot of the 4 gig memory stick that I'm using. It's a DDR3 1333. Okay, so I have the Nova Bench program running right now. And the only other software that's running is this recording software, which is kind of heavy, but uh, like I said, it'll give us a number. Let's go ahead and OK this. And it's a matter of just waiting on it. And this is pretty fast, too. It might not be as accurate as some of the more expensive ones, but it doesn't mess around. It gives you a pretty quick number. So let's just watch this for a minute. Okay, so the last and final score of 252 has come in. That's the lowest one yet. I'm going to go ahead and bench this at 259. So that is the test with the full 8 gig of RAM in without the video card. Now we're going to go ahead and insert the video card and see what happens to our number. I'm going to go ahead and put this video card. This is the GT500 with the onboard 1 gig of RAM. Okay. All right, well, I am ready to test this thing with the full eight gigs of RAM and I've installed that video card. I had to install the video card and it would not fire up with the DMI connection. So I had to reconfigure the BIOS inside the uh, motherboard. So if your video card doesn't fire right up, go into the BIOS on the old connection, which is the motherboard and change the settings and then shut down and then switch the cable over that's what i had to do and i went ahead and i loaded all the drivers for this video card so everything is now current i'm ready to go ahead and test one last time with all my new hardware okay the third set of numbers is in we have a 288 i'm going to give this overall benchmark a two 92. Okay guys, well the results are in. Let's go ahead and look at this on the screen. With the 4 gig of system RAM and no external video card, we did an average of 205 and we'll put that up here. Adding 4 more gig of RAM to take it up to a total of 8, we did 276 for our benchmark. So we went from 205 to 276, that's a pretty good jump. And then I went ahead and left the 8 gig of RAM in there and added that video card. And it went from 276 to 292 after I did that. So really, looking back at these benchmark numbers, it appears that the adding the 4 gig of RAM for $50 was probably our best bang for the buck. And then we picked, so that increased our average to about 70 so this makes real sense in determining what gives you more performance. You know, is it a stick of RAM or is it a video card? In this case, being this is $50 and this is about $50, this was our best bang, but together we made it even better. I'll leave links to both of these products for Amazon in the description. So that is one way that you can test your computer and see if you're getting better performance. Now it just remains that we watch the videos and so forth on here as a real world test and I'm sure there'll be a big difference. So I hope you got some use out of this and, and um, you try benchmarking out for yourself. Before I end this video, I wanted to make one quick comment about comments on my other videos. If you leave me a comment and you want me to respond back to you, you're going to have to check your G plus settings. Some of those people have left me comments and I'm not able to respond back to you even though I want to because you have your privacy set for private. And um, it's just a little setting inside G plus that can be easily missed. 
So if you're asking me questions and you're not getting a response, check your G Plus settings for privacy and make sure that I'm able to send you uh, replies. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Ready? Here we go. Nice. Here we go. Nice. She's an expert food catcher for sure. Here we go. There's one up high. Whoa, nice. Okay, here we go. And for the grand finale. This is the grand finale. Ready? Ah, I tricked you. you. Ready? Get it. Yeah, shadows are right. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.